Okay. <clears throat> Hail deputies. Update video. A lot has happened since the last video. I've been in the hospital once or twice, I don't know. Oh, just, just because I was so weak and dehydrated and so they got me in there and gave me IV fluids and took care of me, waited on me. Cooked me food, brought me food. Not much of which I could eat, however. I just can't eat very much. And I'm, I'm actually afraid to eat because eating tends to make the pain worse. Uh, right now, my ear is clogged up. I have no idea what I sound like. Uh, So anyway, uh, I got my oncologist appointment moved up to the 24th, so I went to see her. I liked her, which is good. She has a nice bedside manner. She took her time with me. I didn't feel rushed or pushed. She seemed knowledgeable. So that was good, and she asked me questions, and she asked if I had any questions. And you know, you're just so overwhelmed with all the information, you don't you don't always know what questions to ask. Um, but uh. uh I'm very weak. It's hard for me to get out of a chair or get up from a bed. I have a cane. I'm, I'm a bit unsteady on my feet. So I've been walking around the house with a cane. Um... Uh, one of my favoritist fans bought me that bed so I'm hoping to get that assembled today or tomorrow just been too busy to assemble it right now because of doctor's appointments and um, trying to get medicine the uh, oncologist gave me a prescription for morphine in tablet form but the pharmacies wouldn't fill it they didn't have it and they couldn't even tell me of a pharmacy that they did have it because there's some sort of law thank you war on opioids that prevents them from divulging that information over the phone so you have to go to each individual pharmacy and say can you fill my prescription so I was very frustrated with that and very exhausted and so much pain. I called my doctor's office and I was finally told that I had to go to this specific hospital which was like a 45 minute drive away from my house. That's one way. Um, and that I could get it there. So today was spent with, I went to the chiropractor and then we went to the, the pharmacy. My brother has to drive me everywhere. I, I don't drive anymore. Um, got that filled. And thank God, you know, that I didn't have any hassles getting it filled there. And uh, then there was the long drive home and Friday afternoon rush hour traffic. Um, so I was actually feeling a little hungry. Um, I had taken a, a anti-nausea pill earlier because I was kind of feeling like I should eat something. 
So we stopped at a nice Cuban restaurant. Um, it's only the second Cuban restaurant that I've ever been to. Uh, the first one that I went to, I would say the food's better, but this one was okay. And uh, unfortunately I couldn't eat much of mine. I had a few bites. Uh, my brother devoured his. And uh, then we hit the road and it was stop and go, stop and go to get home. We just got home basically. Uh, uh, and uh, oh, my ear just cleared. Yay. So now the goal, now that I have my medication, uh, my next immediate goal is to clear some junk out of my room to make way for my new bed. Uh, the old bed has to go, and uh, my, then my brother can set up the new bed, and uh, uh, Bobby bought me some new sheets for it. Thank you, Bobby. And to the fan that wishes to remain anonymous, I want to tell you just how wonderful and special you are for buying me that bed. You are just great. You are a great person. A great friend and a great human being. Because I really need it. So the oncologist says I have a rare type of cancer that usually shows up in the lungs and not the esophagus uh, but mine's in the esophagus and uh, so now I'm going to be going this week to get a PET scan and she's going to start me um, as soon as possible on some um, chemo and radiation therapy So, one of the things I meant to ask her that I failed to do is what would be the side effects of the chemo and radiation, but I guess I'm going to find out. It's not like I really have a choice to not do it if I want to get rid of this pain and pull through this. I know some of you have talked about, you know, herbs and supplements and everything, but, you know, this is so aggressive. I just don't feel that that's the route to go. Um, I've always been a proponent of, of herbs and supplements and natural health. Well, when it comes to cancer, especially, you know, mine seems pretty aggressive um, because, you know, this all has happened pretty fast. And my health is just deteriorating so fast that I've really got to nip this in the bud and destroy all the the uh, base eating zombies really quick before it's too late. So, um, that is, uh, that's pretty much where it's at. Try to think if there's anything else to add. Um, not really coming up with anything at the moment. I'm pretty tired from all the gallivanting of going to my chiropractor and then going to the pharmacy and the long ride home and oh, so thank you all you wonderful human beings for being my fans for being my patrons oh and i i have uh passed six thousand subscribers now uh i had i had always envisioned it a bit differently in my mind that when it happened i would be playing Alpha 17 and uh, really having a lot of fun playing Alpha 17 and 
didn't quite work out that way. But one day I'll get to play Alpha 17. Uh, I want to play it. There's a lot that I haven't been able to experience in Alpha 17. That I'm looking forward to experiencing. And that will be in the future. So, I'm going to sign off for now. Love, hugs, and kisses, everybody. Mwah. I'll talk to you later.